Yo, what's going on guys and welcome back to 10 minute tutorials. I try to keep these short. I try to keep them brief, but I try to make them help the people that need them. So let's go ahead and hop into it today. We are covering, in my opinion, what might be the greatest tool for investigations. Um, so if you've ever done any investigations or even pen tests, this is huge. Um, I would say it's a little bit more useful for investigations, but also pen tests and any hacking. This is an incredible tool. It's not going to be what you think it is. So let's keep that in mind before I hop into it. Make sure you hit that sub button. Make sure you hit that like button. We're trying to get to 5k. I know that people ask every single time to hit the like button, hit the sub button, but it really is the only thing that helps the channel. So if you want to keep seeing content like this, let me know by hitting that sub button, hitting that like button. Let's try and get to 5k. Thank you guys so much. So let's hop into it. Now, first things first, you, this is brave. The, um, the browser that I'm using, this also works with Chrome. So it, a lot of people use Chrome. If you use Chrome, that's fine. It's just an extension. Okay. So it's an extension, but you have to actually go on there and install it. So when you install it, you will follow their steps. I'm not going to walk you through the steps. You can um, go to it. I'll put the link for the tool. It's called Hutchley. Um, and you can see Hunchly right there, 2.0. It's an extension. Now, before we get started, you can see here is the dashboard for it because it is, it's an extension, but it's also a program that runs on your computer. Now, what this tool does is absolutely incredible. It organizes and screenshots everything in your investigation for you. It's incredible. Okay, so first things first, we're gonna say new case. We wanna go ahead and do a new case and we'll say this is Stuffy24, right? We wanna just, we're investigating myself here. So we got Stuffy24. We're gonna go ahead and add some tags to it. So we'll add um, shodan.io and we'll say SSH tag, right? And then we'll add another tag, shodan.io um, FTP tag, right? And then we might add another one, um, LinkedIn. We might do a LinkedIn tag, right? So you add these tags. It doesn't really matter what you add or you know what tags you add. Now let's go ahead and we've got our case built. So you can see here, here's our dashboard. We've got our case built. Let's go ahead and go to shodan.io. Okay, now let's turn it on. So we're gonna say, okay, Hunchly. Now you can see when you turn it on, it asks, do you wanna capture it? We're turning it, we're, oh, you guys can't see it because my camera's in the way. Let me move. Ugh. There we go. Okay, there we go. So you can see it because this is just temporary. So right here, it's going to say capture. We're going to turn that on, but we're going to say case. We want it on Stuffy24. We don't want it on the um, unassigned. We want it on Stuffy24. And you can see we can assign different tags. So now if we were to go here and let's say we're doing an investigation. All right, I'm out of the way. Let's say we're doing an investigation and we need to go ahead and search for, um, you know, yahoo.com. SSH. Let's see if that pops up anything, right? And we hit, okay, no results found. So we'll just say open SSH, right? And now with Shodan, you guys know that you'd get a lot, you can make your results much granular. The reason I don't do real cases when I do videos is for obvious reasons. Um, I'm not going to dox a company. I'm not going to go on Shodan and find vulnerabilities for real companies. Um, a company like yahoo.com has been searched a million times. That's the only reason I even use them for this type of example. But you can see we have open SSH. So now we have this open SSH here. Okay, cool, we've got that. Now let's go ahead and apply that tag to it. Okay, we wanna apply the Shodan SSH tag there. Okay, perfect. And then we're gonna go here, we're gonna say FTP. We'll hit enter. Okay, so now we got the FTP, we'll go here, um, and we're gonna put the showdown.io FTP tag on it. Now, one thing I might do is I might take a note here and say, these results are for um, FTP service. And you can put whatever you want. You can put in here, these results are this, you know, I don't know, this domain. If you have different domains, you can put different tags. So we'll save that note. We'll go ahead, okay, we're good there. Now we'll say, what was the other thing we said we were going to do? LinkedIn. Um, so we'll go ahead, let me pull this over here real quick and go to LinkedIn. Whoops. And that's why I did over here because I mistyped it. Okay, so let's say we went to LinkedIn.com and... 
So we'll say, here we go, linkedin.com. And if we just go to the site, it's probably going to make us log in, right? So let's say we go to linkedin.com. If it loads. Do, 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 do. Come on. All right. So let's say we're here. We're on LinkedIn.com and we're looking for a specific company or person. So we'll say just let's just go to. Um, no, I don't want to see it. Um, so we'll search for people. Before we go to people, let's go to discover or jobs even. And let's say let's just do this. Let's just go to jobs real quick. And I'll show you what I mean. So we're not going to look for a specific job. We're not going to, we're just going to look at what they have here. So we'll just say jobs, um, information security. And we'll just grab the first one in Irvine, California, and we'll look here. All right. And okay. So right here, we're already seeing that they use Python in their environment that can be used against them. Um, all these other things. And I'm not going to dive into deep analysis of this because this is a real company that's really hiring. And so I don't want to do that, but let's go ahead and say, okay, we want to add a note on this, that, um, company is hiring with these skills. You can put whatever, and then we'll say, save note. We'll put tag LinkedIn. Okay, perfect. So we've gone through, we've done about four, you know, three or four different, um, three or four different sites that we've gone to and we've done. So let's go ahead and go back here and you can look here. It's keeping track how many pages we viewed, which searches notes taken all of this. So you can see not only do we have these with the notes, the website, we also have a picture, right? With a page preview, we can take actual images of it. So what I mean by that is we can go back. We can go to this. Let's say there's something specific that we wanted, right? We could say, okay. Uh, doo, 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 doo. So we could add selectors. We could add the queue. There's no actions in the queue right now, but what we could do, I'm trying to keep that white page off cause it's makes my face all messed up, but we can go through here and we could actually take images. We could export the page, meaning that we could have this page. You can see that saving the page for us, which is really nice. It's got the source code. It's keeping all of this information for us. Here's the path we got to it. The data notes, like I said, the notes are what we found. Um, and you can do pretty much anything with this. That's, what's incredible. So we'll go back to the page review. Um, and you can see we could do captioning for the images. We could go here to the images. Um, all images with EXIF. So if you don't, if you never used EXIF tool, it allows you to get metadata and stuff like that. So you could do that type of thing. Um, this is a really, really nice tool that you could do all kinds of stuff. You can then export this case so that you could transfer it to your buddy or whatever you wanted to do. Um, and you can see, you can categorize it with tags to whatever you want. So if you wanted to categorize your investigation to different domains, to different companies, um, all your things, this is an incredible tool. Now this tool is very lightweight. It's very simple. And it also, I will tell you it is not free, but it does have a 30 day free trial where you get a license. And then after that, I believe it's only like 150 bucks a year. So this is a tool that if you do active investigations often, or if you do OSINT, or if you do anything, it is an incredible tool, a must have. Um, this will record all of my Google dorks, all of my things. Um, this records everything I need it to. And it's, compatible with brave, which is one of the reasons I, so, I recommend it so highly because I love brave. I love this extension. I love everything about this tool. This in my opinion is one of the greatest tools that an investigator or a pen tester can use because they do not have to capture screenshots and, or go through and actually capture, um, pictures and images and, um, writing and all that stuff. It does all that for you. And then from there you can go ahead and grab what you need versus going through and doing it that way. So you can see we have, let's say we have some of these that we don't want to, we can go ahead and delete them. So we can say delete them. We can move it to a different case if we wanted to, we can do all kinds of stuff. So there's a lot of granularity that you can do with these. So I recommend it. I'm keeping this under 10 minutes. So thank you guys. Hope you guys have a great day and hopefully this helps somebody even in school, this can help you organize yourself in a great way. So thank you guys and have a great day.